The image of Japan being a virtually impossibly hard market for Western developers to crack may be beginning to fade away. A new report by Nico Partners has found that Japanese youth are much more receptive to Western games than Japanese adults are. Nico Partners is the biggest market research company for the Asia, Middle East, and North Africa regions. The data was released as part of an in depth report on Japanese youth attitudes and behavior. The full report also researches many other topics relevant to this. This market segment, and it is available at a cost of $5,000, which while high is a typical price for this type of market research that sells to other businesses. From the snippets that Nico Partners have released or that have been reported by news outlets, the report reveals that youth gamers, which are defined as between the ages of 6 and 18, also differ from adults by having many more people who play on consoles compared to smartphones, with consoles being the dominant platform for youths and smartphones for adults. However, there is a similarity in the games that the age groups reportedly play, with Minecraft, Splatoon 3, Apex Legends, Fortnite, and Puzzles and Dragons being popular choices in both groups. But while three out of the five games are made by Western developers, the report shows that youth gamers are more receptive to foreign game titles, esports, live streaming games, and content creators than adult gamers, with 46% showing interest compared to 12% of overall Japanese gamers. Nico Partners see CEO has given a statement on the report, saying, We found that foreign game titles, esports, and game live streaming are much more popular among Japan youth than among older gamers, who historically have gravitated towards domestic IP. There is an opportunity for non Japanese gaming companies to expand and increase their presence in Japan, as the country's youth gamers is a potential market on its own. And so the report shows that there isn't just an increase in favorability of Western games, but also towards the wider changes the industry has seen in recent times, such as content creators, live streaming, and esports. And thus, it appears to show a difference in attitudes and behaviour among Gen Z gamers compared to previous generations, with this being a trend that's expected to continue to grow and is also something that can be observed not just in Japan, but across the world. Another possible takeaway is how this type of data is used to help businesses make high-level decisions, and this combined with the CEO's comments about there being an opportunity for developers developers to expand and increase their presence in Japan, and that the country's youth gamers is a market on its own, means we could see an increase in serious attempts by Western developers to succeed in the country. It also poses the question of what may be seen in the next decade or two as the youth gamers of today grow up. Nowadays, specific sales figures are hard to find due to companies often not releasing this information, and data not including digital sales, mobile, and free-to-play titles. However, outside of Minecraft, which we know has sold an incredible 7 plus million units on consoles in the country, it is well known that games such as Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto and others do very well in Japan. Furthermore, it was just revealed in July that Human Fall Flat has sold over 2 million copies in the country. Plus, we have also seen Western RPGs do well, with The Witcher 3 selling over 1 million copies, with 1 million being almost 1% of the country's entire population. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.